Howdy y'all. I have a pretty good size Walmart haul here I'm going to share with you guys. And so first let's start with the pumpkins. I have two big nice beautiful pumpkins for me and Slim to carve this year. So those were the first things I picked out at the store. They had some nice ones too. Um, okay, so I got a little food. I got some pita chips, some pita bread, and some whole grain taco shells, flour tortillas, wheat, whole wheat flour tortillas, whole wheat pita bread. Uh, I got the stuff to make a little beef stew. So I got some uh, very lean stew meat and these tiny potatoes. Look at that. I won't even have to cut those up. Tiny, tiny potatoes. And some carrots and celery. So I'm going to make a nice little beef stew. Uh, I got some coffee filters and coffee and sugar. That's This is the sugar that my husband uses in his coffee. And we got some of that good donut shop coffee. Uh, I got him some Gatorade. I needed some lemon. And I got a few cans of green beans. And then the stuff for his lunches, he takes instant breakfasts and uh, these protein bars. And he really likes these uh, cliff bars here. And I've been having a hard time finding these, but luckily I found two boxes. And, uh, okay, so the, the other food here is I got three bags of these pretzels, the little mini pretzels, and three packs of almond bark. So, um, these are the ingredients, pretzels and almond bark, for my husband's favorite holiday treat. He likes the almond bark covered pretzels. And around the holidays, it can be hard to find these because I think that a lot of people uh, use this in their candy making. So, I went ahead and got enough for three batches. I thought I would make a trial batch and that's the wax paper too for that because I haven't made any in years uh, so I thought I'd make some just as a try you know so I don't really mess up on the big day <laughs> so I'm gonna make a batch for him and then I'm gonna make a batch at Thanksgiving and then another at Christmas and the expiration date on this stuff will last so uh, I went ahead and got a few things for the holiday goodie making season and I think that's all the food products uh, the rest of the stuff I got some more goodies here I got some brown paper that's what I'm wrapping all of my holiday gifts in this year and then I'm decorating the packages with uh, stickers so I got another roll this is the third roll of brown paper that I've used this year I got this it's called tread tape. Um, I've always called it grip tape. This was kind of what's on the bottom of a skateboard. If you, like my son was a skateboard guy when he was younger and this stuff is uh, that really grippy, it feels almost like asphalt or something. Um, super grippy tape. This is to put on Virginia's steps. Uh, we're going over there this evening to fix her steps up and make them safer and sturdier. And that's what this is going to be for. And it is the Gorilla brand. So it should stick and stay for uh, the life of the steps, I would imagine. This stuff is pretty good. So I was glad to find this. I thought I might have to go to a specialty place to get that. But I found it at Walmart. Also, I got this uh, collector's album. This is the kind of thing that you put baseball cards in. Uh, it's a big like photo album and it has the divided sheets in it for putting baseball cards in. Now, uh, my husband, he doesn't collect baseball cards, but ever since he's a kid, him and his brother have had a comic card collection. And uh, for a while, his brother had it. And when my husband got it back, all of the cards were out of their book. They had originally been in a book like this. And all of them were in their little individual sleeves. And when he got the comic cards back, they were just all piled in a box. 
which if you know anything about collecting cards you really shouldn't do that to collector editions cards of any kind you should put them in a in a nice album so um, we don't know what happened to the album or the sleeves but I know that my husband's been really wanting to put those cards away uh, properly so I got him this album it was kind of pricey this thing was $25 for this album but um, you know if it's if it's gonna save his collectibles then it's worth it and I got two extra packs of the uh, you know the divided films so this holds nine cards on each side so you can put nine on this side and then flip it over and put nine on that side that way there will be plenty and I think this comes with 50 pages and I bought an additional 70 pages because they have hundreds of cards in there so uh, I think he'll be really happy with this now I don't know if I'm just gonna give this to him or if that's gonna be a Christmas present uh, those cards have been in a box for a long time so I'm thinking maybe this might get put up as a Christmas present also I found a couple of CD cases. Now, uh, we're real big Star Trek fans, and we have most all of the Star Trek series on DVD. And, unfortunately, they are really terrible cases. When you buy the box set, it comes in a case where the DVDs are stacked one on top of the other, kind of overlapped, and the little center point is really stiff. And you can break your DVDs getting them in and out of there. And they also fall out and get scratched. And anyway, all the cases to all the series that we have of Star Trek, the cases just really suck. And they're going to wind up messing up our movies. So I got a couple of these to try these. I thought we might just put the DVDs in here like CDs. And that way each one will have their own little slot. They'll stay in order. They'll stay protected. I can label this some kind of way and so I got two of them they were uh, I think they were around nine dollars each and I think that that will really uh, save our DVD collection some if we put some of the worst ones in here uh, I'm hoping that they'll last a real long time because I am very disappointed with the DVD uh, box set cases for the Star Trek stuff okay I got a little bag of these are split rings for jewelry making this is what I've been attaching the pendants with and I ran out so I got a little bag of those and last but not least I have this nifty little kit I'm putting together for my future daughter-in-law uh, as you may or may not know they are uh, camping enthusiasts and so they're getting camping themed Christmas presents and this is one that I am making for her now I've already got the clothespins I don't have them here but I'm going to make a little box set with the clothespins this clothesline and on the clothesline on each end I'm going to attach one of these on each end so she can just take the clothesline out and wrap it around a tree and clip it to itself there on each side and or you know clip it to whatever's handy and have a clothesline and I also got this little pop-up hamper to go with this the line the clips the clothespins and then they're all gonna go inside this little mesh bag and that's going to be a camping laundry kit and that is the last thing I think I've got on this Walmart haul. So thanks for joining me you guys and until next time y'all be sweet.